lower back injuries. Lumbar disc bulges. Who are, put your hands up. Who has been diagnosed with a lumbar disc problem or had one, like had one in the past? Okay, that's a few of you already, so you guys will be interested in this. This is also for people who have got signs and symptoms of lower back problems, lumbar disc problems. They might not know that they've got one maybe on the way, it's because it's a very common problem. So this is learning about how to identify this, not self-diagnosing, but identifying whether you've got this, maybe this sort of problem, and then trying to apply management strategies to make sure that doesn't turn into a big problem. So when people have got lower back disc pain, it's usually an aching pain when they've been sitting, or after lifting, or after bending forward. Okay, so sitting, lifting, bending forward. And you can have pain that shoots out one side, a little bit of an ache coming around the back of the hip. You can have it going down your leg, and then it might stop going down your leg. Worst signs are things like pins and needles and numbness, so that's a more of a, a worse sign. But these sort of problems can come and go. You might find you don't feel it when you're standing, walking around, but as soon as you sit for two hours, then you start getting an achy lower back. It might be in the car for a long journey. And not necessarily happening from exercise. It might be the cause that you sit for too long or you bend over in the garden for too long and then you notice it when you're exercising. And people try and think, oh, it's because I'm exercising. It might be from something else, not actually the exercise. Okay, so a lot of the time you can still exercise. We have to work on what other things do you need to stop doing. So preventative things are trying to reduce the pressure in the lower back. Now, the best one for lower discs is a McKenzie extension. So what I might get you all to do is learn that now with me and Amelia. So if you can all go onto your front for me. Can you all do that? Lay on your front. All the way down onto your front. We call this prone. Yeah. Hands under shoulders, right under the shoulders. Now you've got to try and relax your bum, relax your lower back. And I want you to slowly push upwards and straighten your elbows. Now, stop when there's pain. But if you guys can go all the way. And when you get to the top, if you can get to the top, breathe out. Relax the tummy button into the ground. Relax your pelvis. Relax the lower back. Stop when there's pain. And then slowly lower through your shoulders, through your triceps. And is this a stretching or this a strengthening a, this exercise? This is all stretching. Relax stretching. a little bit. Go again, pushing up, breathing out. Stop where there's pain. Relax the tummy, relax the bum. Slowly lower down. Okay, you got that one? So this is good for anyone this that McKenzie experiences. Extension. Pushing up, breathing out. Going to where there's a bit of tightness. Relax and down again. Now the general rule is about three sets of 10 in a little session. By that third set of 10, you should be feeling better, not worse. If you're feeling worse, you're either going too high or you're doing too many. Okay? okay. So that's a really, really good one for you to do.